So you watched the previous video, and if you haven't, here's the link in the top right corner and in the description below. Learn about the five different personalities. They are strong, positive characteristics. What makes them tick and thrive at work? You also did the questionnaire. So you are here to find out more about your shadow side or the one of your colleagues. This is the video about this little minifigure, Mrs. Be Strong. Having a strong pillar around is comforting for most of us. Although we shouldn't forget that pillars may develop cracks too. And they virtually never admit it when they do. Admitting failure for Mrs. B. Strong is weakness. Being overloaded is weakness. Asking for support, help, another pair of hands is weakness. So the alternative is to hide. Out of sight, out of mind, she thinks as she clears her inbox by moving most unanswered emails to folder to do later number five. It's a good coping mechanism, but again, just coping instead of thriving is for wimps, she thinks. She usually punishes herself for her shortcomings with harsh, self-sabotaging thoughts with the greatest fear being and appearing vulnerable. During times of change, Mrs. B. Strong shies away from one thing, the E word, emotion, a character from her worst nightmare. We get so frustrated by her robotic, made of steel facade at times when everybody feels the pain, tension and friction. Although she wants to be the pillar for everyone, the absence of visible emotions increases any discomfort around her. And in her attempt to solve every issue, every problem, she manages to marginalize herself, essentially hide away, even from people that could genuinely help her and the situation. If you are like Mrs. B. Strong, take your time to reconnect with your human side. There are limits of what you can do, even for you. People like people. People with emotions, even vulnerable at times. People who ask for help at times of need. Sharing the weight will enable you to do what you do best. Bring your calm energy, your rational thinking. Help others deal with the difficult elements of change. Reassure colleagues that you will support them and make your problem-solving skills available at moments of high emotion. And here's a kind note to yourself. Yes, even for you. It's okay to be open and to take care of your own needs. As you show your human side, it might be hard to believe now, but you make an investment in your relationships. You become more relatable, which is perhaps the only way to allow people to rely on you even more. Knowing your drivers, your working styles, and how you may react under pressure at times of change may be invaluable. This conscious awareness of the reasons behind these strong emotions, what triggers them, as well as knowing your strong points and your shadow side, gives you more choice to slow down, reflect in the moment and perhaps act differently. Because knowing yourself better is power. As always, thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe for more. That'd be lovely. Till the next one, I'm Lazaro Wolf. Take care.